as we know that today's question is uh, a ship 675 meter long at the semi ordinates at the load water plane commencing uh, from forward so the ordinates are given here as 0 1 2 4 5 5 5 4 3 2 meters as we know this uh, the vessel as the uh, question is uh, specifically mentioned the length of the vessel is uh, pardon me for the drawing uh, so the length of the vessel is uh, 75 meter long the vessel is 75 meter long and uh, as we know this uh, is the length and then this uh, line that i had drawn over here is actually representing the midship i can write it over here i can symbolize like this also or else i can uh, for the simplicity of understanding i will write it as the midship ms so the question says that uh, there are certain ordinates at the loaded water plane so we have this suppose this is our loaded water plane so this is a water line and uh, as the question has said that there are some semi ordinates uh, which are mentioned over here as follow the question further specify that the first three and the last three as we can see over here the first three semi ordinates and the last three semi ordinates are actually half as compared to the other ordinates so the first three that exist and the last three that exist are actually the half so for the simplicity of understanding we will just uh, draw a mental image of how it looks like but if choose a proper line okay and uh, here let's go with the uh, zero the first one then it is the one then it is two then it is four then it is five then again it is five then again it is five then it is 4, then it is 3, then it is 2, then it is 0. Okay, so now as you can see, uh, we had created uh, the number of, uh, as you can see, the number of uh, semi ordinates uh, dividing the segment of the length of the ship across the length of the ship in the load water plane. So I will just uh, draw the, as they are being semi ordinates, I will draw, simplify the diagram further. And as the question is specified that the first three semi ordinates and the last three semi ordinates is half of that between the other semi ordinates. So I will take another color over here and uh, I, I can say that uh, these are the first three semi ordinates and these are the last three semi ordinates. And the space here is actually half of that of other ordinates. So if this is the these are the other ordinates, then uh, the space over here, if we say these are the other ordinates, which are where the all the spacing is equal spacing is there. So in that case, uh, the uh, these two are actually sharing the half this half the the space in between these two is actually the half of the actual spacing. So for the simplicity, I will make uh, this one as complete full, and for understanding much better understanding. So as you can see over here, this is uh, the, the diagram how it will look like, and uh, from here we will proceed further. We will be like. Uh, uh, just go ahead as the question is specified few uh, regular parameters that are uh, the length of the ship the given thing is the length of the ship as we know so the length of the ship is equal to 75 meter the length is 75 meter long now we will try to find the what is the actual spacing here they have already mentioned that uh, between other semi ordinates the spacing between other semi ordinates so let's say ki, what is the other spacing so the actual spacing in this section so each of them i can represent the spacing as h we can represent it as h as h also or we can say it as common intervals so either you can write ci or h is completely up to you uh, whichever way you want to choose to write so this is a common interval is actually the distance between the two or uh, this is the distance between the two semi ordinates which is mentioned over here so let's say ki 75 so how we will come to know is 75 meter length is given to us divided by 75 meter length is the total length of the vessel and these are divided by uh, different uh, div, uh, stations of different subordinates values. So let's say ki this is the one, this whole is a one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven and this is eight. 
soul is a eight. This soul is one. So total there are eight of them. Eight segments are there in the seventy-five meter length is divided into eight segments. So when we do seventy-five to eight segments, we get to know that it's a nine point three seven five. So we can write it over here that the value of common interval is nine point three seven five meter. Seven five meter. I hope you all understood uh, where this uh, common interval is lying, and uh, which distance I am speaking about over here, and which distance is this one. So when you get to know all these things, the further question says that to find the position of center of rotation related to midship. So as I can, I have told you that this is the midship. So what is the position of center of rotation? Is the center of rotation is lying at this this side of midship? A center of rotation is lying at this side of midship. What is the distance relative to center of midship? It is asked directly. So as when it is told that relative of midship it is asked, so we will just try to figure out. Definitely we know that it's not at this point. It is uh, relative to midship it is asked, so we will try to find at where the center of rotation is lying. So that's lying towards the aft, that is lying towards the forward. So here the ordinates value, if you see, is commencing from forward. So I will just write here an F. So mention that this is a forward. I will write over here as A. So mentioning that this is an aft. So as we go further, we will try to post uh, these values. Uh, into a tabular form, so I can write it much more better way. So let's say that it's starting from forward. So I will write it over here. I could have taken stations also, but uh, for the simplicity of understanding, I will just uh, write it with the ordinates. So half ordinates. So as if we, as we can see that it starts from zero. Then it comes to one. Then it comes to two. Then it comes to four. Then it comes to five. Then it comes to five. Then it comes to five. Then it is mentioned as four, three, two, zero. Four, three, two, zero. Now we will try to put Simpson's multiplier over here. So this this we will be doing in two phases. So we get to know ki how this work. As we know the Simpson multiplier are completely three types. They are totally three types of Simpson multiplier that is known to us. One of them is one four one. One of them is uh, one three three one. And one of them is five eight minus one rule. So instead of all three, we'll here try to figure out that uh, which one we need for this solution. So let's uh, clean up this section. So here we can see there are total eight are mentioned over here, and uh, we'll try to uh, put those values over here. So as the semi, uh, we need common interval to place uh, this thing. So we'll fall one four one one four one one four one in such a way that it should fall like this. Like uh, if this is one. Four, one. But this being half the spacing as it's mentioned, so we will actually divide this by two, which we will show further. Rather than further, it will go like one, four, one. Then again one, four, one. Then again one, four, one. Then again one, four, one. Based on the as uh, these values will differ further, that uh, these values we will divide by two only because. Uh, As we know, these are the semi-half ordinates of the total spacing. Actually, uh, not uh, equivalent or called co called to common interval spacing. It's actually half of that. So what we will do, we will we'll follow the same situation over here, and uh, then we can write it over here as one, four, one, and uh, as we know that the first three ordinates are told. To be half the actual spacing and last three ordinates separately, and we'll follow the other one one four one then again one four one in the exact same order that I had drawn in the diagram. We'll drawing it in tabular format. That's all. And one four one. So further, when we'll go, we will just divide these values by two. Divide this value by two, so it became half. Divide this value by two, so it will become actually two, and divide this value by two, so it will become one and a half. And uh, the same way we'll do the last also because uh, the question itself is mentioned. So uh, now we'll try to find out the what is the actual values of uh, Simpson's multiplier in this problem. So we know that the first is half, then the second is four divided by two two, then one and a half, then uh, four. Then one plus one, as we can see here, one plus one is two. Then four. Then again one plus one, as you can see over here, is two. Then four. Then one and half over here. And uh, I hope uh, things are clear to you right now. Uh,
how we had come to know that what are the sets of multiply for this problem. Now what we'll do is we'll try to find the summation of area over here. As we know the purpose of simple multiplier. So uh, for simplicity of uh, calculation purpose, I will just use another color so we don't miss anything. So zero and half, we get to know that the value will be zero. So one into two. So we can know that uh, one times two is two. Two one and half. So two and the two and half is one. So total three. Then uh, four four is sixteen. Four into four sixteen. Then uh, five to ten. So we can write here five to ten. Then five four twenty. So I can write here five four twenty. Then five to ten. Then I can write here five to ten. Then I can write here four four sixteen. So I can write here four four sixteen. Then three and half means three and half one point five. So four point five. If I'm not wrong, four point five. Then uh, two to four. So I will write here four. Then zero and half. So so this I had to do because to make things simpler to you. So let's see. Now we will try to calculate this value. What is the total value? Under like this. So for this we will use a calculator. Zero plus two plus three plus sixteen plus ten plus twenty plus ten plus sixteen plus four point five plus four. And we got a value of eighty five point five. Over here, eighty-five point five. So as you can see now, we, what we'll do is uh, we have found the summation of area for this thing, and uh, now what we'll be doing is to find the moment because uh, we know that as per the formula, what is the formula for this? What is the formula for this is for center of rotation. We have to find the center of rotation. I'm writing as COF equal to Summation of a uh, moment upon summation of area. Summation of moment. I will write M O M. Moment upon summation of area into common interval or H, whichever way you are considering. You can write a C I or H, whichever problem. So uh, we currently we have found what is uh, this value. Now we will try to find the moment. So what we will do is we will take the moment from the center line. So for whatever value that will be take coming towards the arc, we will consider as positive. This is actually sign convention. You can use it anyway. So you can uh, the whatever value coming to forward will take it negative. So the negative value will be at the forward end, and the positive value will be at the half end. And we will take the lever from the center line to the left, uh, half side and forward side. So if uh, this is the center line, sorry. This is the center line over here. So at this point of time, suppose this is my center line with shift. So from this point to this point, I will be taking as the lever as the negative one, and from this point to this point, I will take it as the uh, positive one. Then the same law way uh, for the next, we will take it as the negative two, and for uh, this section, we will take it as from the mid shift because we are taking. So this section will take it as positive two. You have to also remember that at this point, uh, actually there is a half station is falling, so there will be half will take of the lever, and for this also will take half the lever, not the full lever. So let's uh, go to the actual problem. So to simplify things, so here we will be taking lever. I should use another color. Okay, so now let's say uh, lever we are taking at uh, this as the considering this as midship, so zero, and uh, anything that is going towards forward as one negative. Negative minus two, negative minus three. This being the half station, we will consider it as negative three point five, and uh, this being then uh, let's say four, negative four. And now we will go further down. So this will be positive, similar same fashion, positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four. Uh, positive four, no. This is the half station, so positive three point five, and positive four. Now what we will do, we will multiply these values and uh, we will try to find what is the value. So four times this. so we will what we will get is the moment as we know what is the moment of the distance. So now what we will be doing is uh, zero times a negative four, so it will become zero. Two times three point five, so it will become negative seven. Three times three, so it will become negative nine. Then sixteen to thirty two, so it will become negative thirty two. 
and uh, 10 times 1 is uh, negative 10 then 20 times 0 0 10 times 1 10 16 times 2 32 4.5 times 3 4.5 times 3 6 8 12 5 4.5 times 3 13.3 13.5 then uh, 3.4.4 uh, into 3.5 that will be 14 And then 4 times 0 will be 0. So now let's cal calculate the total value of the moment what we are getting. So as we calculate the total value, it's a negative 7 plus negative 9 plus negative 32 plus negative 10 plus 10 plus 32 plus 13.5 plus 14 plus 0 that is 11.5 so we got the value as 11.5 so we'll write over here as 11.5 and now what we got is summation of moment so we have got the moment value and we have got uh, a summation of area value so uh, based on this formula we'll try to substitute the values as we have got 11.5 divided by 85.5 and the value of common interval was uh, over here we can see 9.375 so I will write over here as 9.375 so let's try to calculate that part so it will become 11.5 divided by 11.5 divided by 85.5 multiplied by 9.375.375 so we got the answer 1.2609 so we will consider 1.2609 as the answer over here 1.2609 now the question is what is this so we will write this 1.2609 meter uh, now as we are asking for center of rotation position of center of rotation for midship so where is this location located of center of rotation so is it at the aft or is it at forward this is one of the question so for this I had specified that if uh, we are taking if you can see over here we are taking the positive values at uh, for, for uh, aft and for negative values for forward so as you can see this section and we go further we can see that uh, the here we have got a positive value so that means 1.2609 meters from because we have taken moments from the center uh, midship so we have taken moments from the midship and the value has fallen at the positive side so positive side was actually the aft side so the uh, it the answer will be 1.609 meters aft of midship aft of midship will lie our center of rotation so in the actual diagram if you will see so this value this value which is mentioned over here this value will be this value 1.2609 meter aft of midship I hope uh, the problem was understood by all and now we'll proceed for the next problem. Okay. Thank you very much.